Hello guys and welcome to another adventure story channel video about marine engineering. Today I have a new video just for you and you will learn more and more. Today that you see in front of your eyes it's a machinery okay and equipment it's not contain a lot of pieces but it's very very useful in our engine room we will talk about top bracing system and we will see the main components of this equipment we will see how to measure the proper measuring we will see also what is this and what we what we are talking about because for new engineers this is be first time when they will listen for something like that and this video it's a very nice tip for them so will be a entrance to this world of marine engineering okay guys that you see in front of you this is the place where we make the measurement okay and first of all that you see you see some lines okay you see some green lines some red lines two lines yes correct you find it this is where this place here okay this point must be inside okay these lines must not exceed these red lines if this here this point exceed these lines something is going wrong okay and first of all we need to talk what we need this top bracing system okay as we know talk two stroke engines okay they are very powerful engines and as you know the ship they can transfer thousands of dead weights okay and thousands of tons this is transfer to tremendous power okay and many engines now in nowadays some of them like container ship they have engine which is about 100,000 horsepower okay and this thrust from the propeller okay and the shaft all this power okay from the sea from the sea because the propeller push the quantity of water okay all this thrust it's passing the shaft the thrust pad okay which is located at the close to the flywheel and then all this power transmit whatever remains in the main engine okay but this is axial forces okay we have also longitudinal forces which is created by the movement of the piston inside the engine and these for these uh, forces we need to eliminate them and fight against them okay we need to dump them and this is why we use this top bracing system this is like a dumping system of longitudinal forces of engine okay which is created from the piston which we say previously and here you can see we have a accurate measurement with caliper we use caliper okay and this ruler we use metal ruler because metal rulers are accurate and you cannot bend them okay these measurements inside the manual they are exactly specified okay for uh, the engine which is under load condition when the engine is unload condition or the ship also is load and load condition okay there's different uh, measurement at all conditions okay because there's different load it's different the load when the engine is working the different load is when the engine is stopped i don't remember exactly but if I properly remember something was about 26 millimeters, something like that. Okay, and it's vary because variates because you have four, four dumpers, this top bracing, you have four, four of them. And as you can see, this is the number one, okay, this is the forward one. 
Also, what you can see here, you can see that it take a little bit tilt, okay? It's not straight. That means it move a little bit, okay? It take some seat from the main engine, okay? It's change the position. Let's see the next one, okay? There is two measurements here. One is made in this side and the other is made below down, as you can see from the photos, okay? Up, down, two measurements. Okay, we have number two. Let's go next. Same measurements, exactly. Number three. And number four. Okay, we have four of them. This is the place, the location of top bracing unit in an engine, okay? This is where we put these uh, dumpers, okay, this top bracing system to eliminate and dump these forces. Okay, and next we can see which cylinder, okay, we have six cylinders here, okay, this is the flywheel here, and we can see where is the biggest load, okay, it depends also, okay, at uh, what top dead center, it's number one, okay. And you can see number one, number two, number five, number six is the most loaded with these uh, forces. Okay. Let's go back. And this here, I have found a picture in the internet. This is the top bracing without any air or hydraulic uh, system. It's simple connection with metal parts also in my previous ship i have worked in ice class we have the same system it's more simple okay and they have calculated there is exactly calculations where to put this the tightening forces okay they play very big role for that one because if you tight wrong and if you make some mistakes in calculations the cracks and damages will appear after some years you will see them to appear slowly and slowly and this is why everything must be calculated properly here in this place they are welded to the hull of the ship and in the other part it's bolted okay to the main engine and this is how longitudinal vibrations occur okay they try to move the engine side to side port side and starboard side left and right okay so guys i believe i believe uh, this video helped you a lot to understand how these forces produced as you can see the pressure pushed down the piston okay to turn and here what occurs to the side to the cylinder liner and down to the other parts of the engine okay like it's uh, crank pins crankshafts everything take a load and have these effects by these powers so let's go back here we have hydraulic air system which dumps this vibration, which is more accurate and more better to absorb these vibrations, okay? These kinds of installations I have seen in the biggest engines, okay? Where the long of the piston is quite bigger, the masses is bigger, okay? That's why we need more effective systems. So guys, Stay tuned to Adventure Story channels. Don't forget to see my previous videos. It's very important, I believe, because I share my experience with you. And we make our community larger and better. Thank you for watching, guys. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.